So take your ruler and line up the top of the object. So take your ruler and you want to draw a parallel line from the top of the object all the way to this mid line right here, the line that's going through your lens, like that. So then we're going to go refracted through the focal point and like that. Yay! Now, first of all, notice we've got two focal points. Why do we why do you think we have two focal points? Why is there one in front and one behind? Oh my goodness, there are two curved surfaces. So you're going to have a, a front focal point and a back focal point. Okay. Now the next ray was, for mirrors, it was through the focal point and then parallel. So I've gone parallel through the back focal point. So what do you think this one should be? Any ideas? So I'm going to line up the top of the object and the focal point, and I'm going to draw a line that goes all the way to the center point of the lens. And then as best I can, I'm going to make a parallel line. That's not perfect, but hopefully you get the idea. So my third one, instead of going through the center of curvature, is going to go through the center of the lens. So from the top of your object to the center of your lens and then straight through. And if I had drawn that blue one longer, I think we would have seen them converge somewhere. Remember that I'm not using a ruler up here. Do you guys get yours crossing on the back side of the lens. All right, so then that means that my object in this case is just an arrow because I was not very, and but it should be about right there because I have a little dot right there so I knew where it was supposed to go. <clears throat> my red one, do you see my red one's a little bit shifted down? I should probably fix that. So this is my image. You wanna tell me about that image, any ideas? Size-wise, it, it, does, it does have a magnification, and that's going to depend on where our object is. So it's a little bit tricky to come up with a, um, an always statement for the, the size of this kind of image because definitely the image of the light fixture on the table is smaller than the actual object of the light fixture in the top of the room. So we have to be a little bit careful with uh, a magnification general statement. But there is a magnification. Is there any other words you would use to describe? It, it is inverted. Now, uh, is this image formed by real rays or virtual rays? Do, do these rays really pass through? Like when you were playing with the lens in your light box, did the light actually go through the light box and converge? Okay, so that makes this a real image. It is a projectable image. Um, the overhead projector, LCD projector that I use up here has a converging lens in it. Um, it uses mirrors to flip the image right side up. That way you're not having to look at an upside down picture all the time. But we're using a converging lens to create a real image. Because that's a real image. You can actually see that. It is projectable. Okay. Um, and another example of where you would find a converging lens is your eye. So this is like the lens in your eye. Your retina would be back here, and everything you see is actually upside down. <coughs> but your brain figures it out and flips it right side up when you're a baby. So when there you go. While, you when you're littler than walking, it changes. Yeah. But we can't communicate with babies very well so yeah. it's hard to tell when that actually happens <laughs> but it takes it doesn't take very long um, there have been some experiments where some people have worn glasses that flip everything upside down and eventually their brain turned it right side up and it I'm took, took it off and <laughs> yeah and then they had to get used to it again so um, your brain is a, a marvelous thing so 
don't do drugs. All right. So we get an image there. All right. All right. So from the top of the object, parallel to the uh, principal axis, all the way to the center of the lens and stop. And then it is refracted. Where should it go? Through the focal point. So I need to go through the front focal point, but it's it's like on the wrong side of the object. It's in an awkward spot. So take your ruler and line up the focal point and the top of the object and draw a straight line from the top of the object to the center of the lens. So I don't have a ruler, so I'm actually going to start it at the top of my focal point, but I'm going to erase that. So uh, don't don't do what I'm doing right here. And then it should go out parallel. Whoa, that's not very pretty. All right, then our third one was from the object through the center of the lens and straight through. All right, so top of the object, center of the lens. Are these three rays over here ever going to converge? They will never converge on the right side. So what I want you to do is take your converging lens that I have at your table and I want you to look at, I don't know, the print on your paper. How does it appear through that lens? So your eyeball is over here. Here's your eye. Yay, eye. Okay. But your eyeball sees these three rays coming at it and it collects that information and it looks like it looks like they're coming from somewhere over here. So let's draw the virtual rays that my brain thinks it sees. Remember your brain does all kinds of crazy things like turning images right side up so that you can function in our world. All right, I'm going to start with the green one because that's the last color I used. Now I'm going to make this a dotty dot dot line because it's virtual. Virtual, so make this one a broken one. That indicates that it's not really there, we just think it is. And then this last red, red one. So I don't have a ruler, so I'm just going to trace that ray back and then I'm going to erase it. So make yours dotty dot dot. Oh man. I bet yours converge better than mine. I'm real sad. I'm not very good at making parallel lines apparently today. Do yours line up nicely? So some of you are great at parallel lines and some of you are not. All right, so let's pretend that my rays crossed. And I'm going to pick the these two. <laughs> I don't know. Anyway, so here's my image. Maybe this one needs to be shifted down just a little bit. Oh, look, they actually do converge. Or appear to converge back here. What kind of image do you think this is? It virtual. <coughs> and it's upright. What do you want to say about its magnification? It does have a positive magnification. Um, is is it bigger than that guy? So look at the print on your paper with your converging lens. Move the lens up and down. What do you notice? No, like towards the table and away from the table. Sorry. Didn't define my coordinate system. So what do you notice about the text all the time? It, it does get bigger, but is it always bigger than the actual text? Don't break them, they are glass. But it should be enlarged. What do you think we use this kind of lens for? 
A magnifying glass. Yes. Or, you know, your parents, when their arms are get too short and they can't see anymore, they start wearing those little glasses. No, have they started wearing little read little readers? Those are magnifiers. Those are little readers. Yeah. All right. So let's do the the third one. Okay. So our first ray should be parallel to the principal axis, but then it's going to diverge. So this one's going to be a little bit tricky to draw. Are you ready? All right. So line up the top of your object and make as as best parallel line as you can ever and stop because this one's going to diverge that means that it's going to spread out on the other side of the lens so it's going to diverge in a direction in line with the front focal point so I don't have a ruler, remember, so I'm actually going to draw a line from the focal point to this intersection, but you need to make this one dotty dot 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 because it's not really there. So what really happens is the ray, if you'll just watch for a second, the ray goes in parallel and then it diverges, okay? But this will be our virtual ray and we won't have to go back and draw it. Now our second ray is supposed to go through the focal point and then parallel. So we're going to head towards, we're going to go through the front focal point. Nope, I lied, I lied, I lied, a uh, big liar, big fat liar. We're going to go through the back focal point, but don't, don't make this a solid line, don't make this a solid line. Stop when you get to the intersection of the mirror. I just don't have a ruler up here. So from the top of the object to the lens with your ruler in line with the other focal point. So now let's go out parallel. Do these rays look like they're ever going to cross each other? O only virtually. So while I'm here, I'm going to go ahead and draw my virtual ray because this is a diverging lens anyway, which means that the ray should not cross. So I'm going to make a dotty dot 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 broken virtual ray there. We're going to go from the top of the object through the center. And if your eyeball was here, it looks like it's coming from back here. So this ray and the virtual ray would be kind of all together right there. So not having to fake it too much this time. Oh, look, there's my image. What kind of image do you think this is? It, 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 yeah, it is. It's so you. That is the only one that's a real ray that your eye would see. Everything else would be virtual. That's a good question. It is reduced. And notice that it's closer to the lens. So for those of you that are nearsighted, which means that you can't see things that are far away your lens brings the image or brings the yeah brings the image closer to your eye so then your convex lens in your eye has a new do uses the new images location as the do the object for the lens in your eye which then can focus it on your retina and it looks clear so when you have to, when you can't see far away and you wear the lens to bring things closer to you and then your eye can focus it on your retina and then you can see. Yay! In the interest of time, we're going to omit a derivation. But lenses and mirrors at least are friendly. And how do you think the DI, DO and the focal length would be related? That's exactly right. In any order over here, 
I was already writing DO when you said DI, so that's good. Yeah. What about the magnification? Yeah, negative di over do equals high over ho. Okay, so real images are formed um, where the image distance is positive. So DI is positive for real images, which would be behind the lens. Quote unquote, behind the lens. DI is negative for virtual images. And they are in front of your lens. You can go back and look at your ray diagrams for that. And just like for uh, mirrors, a positive magnification means upright. A negative magnification, what was that letter, <coughs> is inverted. A magnification that is greater than one is enlarged. I put the absolute value around it because it doesn't matter if it's upside down or right side up. It can be a large upside down image or a large upright image. If your uh, magnification is less than one, but not zero, then it is reduced. And if it is one, tell me about that magnification. Same size, yep. <laughs> 